guys, welcome to today's video. So I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to pilling and having products ball off the skin. Now a lot of you don't understand why this is happening. You don't know if it's the products you're using, the way you're using them. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a number of reasons why your products can pill and ball off your skin during your skincare routines. So if you're interested in finding out what this could be, then please keep on watching. And of course, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell, by doing so, you'll always be notified whenever I upload a new video, and I do upload videos every single week. All right, so let's get right into this video and let's address why your skincare products are paling and balling off your skin. So there are a number of reasons why this could be happening. But before we get right into that, I wanna let you know that we are all using different skincare products. We are all using our products in different ways. And this could be one of the reasons why skincare products are paling and balling off your skin. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about with paling and having your products ball off your skin, if you are doing your skincare routine or you get to your makeup stage and you notice that your products are literally rolling off your skin and it's like little balls almost looks like dry skin and nothing is sticking to your skin you can feel it in your hands and you can see it on your hands that is when your skincare products or your makeup is peeling and balling off your skin and this means there is a conflict somewhere so the only thing to do right in that moment when you're experiencing peeling is to to rewash your face and start all over and reapply your skincare products as well as your makeup. Now you don't wanna be reapplying everything that you did prior when experiencing the peeling. You really need to pay attention on the products that you're using and eliminate some things. And this is really important and this is what's going to prevent peeling. So the first thing that could be happening is that you're not layering your skincare products correctly. Now there is a special sequence that you should be layering your skincare products. Now I did do a video on how to layer your skincare products. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave it below for you as well as up here. But when you layer your skincare products, you always want to layer your water-based serums first and work your way up to your thicker products. So for example, you're going to cleanse your skin. You then want to apply your water based serums. Now water based serums are generally your hyaluronic acid and anything that is watery. Once you've layered your water based serums you then want to go into your oils and then your creams. Now some people like to apply their face oils on top of their moisturizer but I like to do it the other way around because I don't experience peeling that way. For me personally, I've always locked out to apply my oil first and my moisturizer. But that is another reason why people are experiencing pilling. It's because if they introduce a face oil in their skincare routine, the face oil is reacting with the moisturizer. So for me personally, I like to do oil then moisturizer, but a lot of people find that doing moisturizer and then oil is better. So it just depends on what works for you and how it works with your skincare products, but that is generally how you would like to apply your skincare products. And then of course, after your moisturizer, it would be SPF if you're doing a morning routine. So making sure that you layer your skincare products correctly is definitely going to help with preventing pilling. Another reason why your skincare products could be pilling is if you are using too many skincare products in one routine. So if you're somebody that is using three, four, five different types of water-based serums, and then you're using an oil, then a moisturizer, and let's say an SPF, sometimes pilling could happen in this routine because there are just so many layers stacked on one another, and your products can't absorb, and there could be conflicts with certain skincare products. So this is just Generally where I experience my peeling is if I get too carried away with certain products and I'm using too many things and then as soon as I get to my moisturizer stage or even my SPF game over that's usually when I experience peeling and then of course I have to rewash my face and start all over and use less products so make sure that especially in the morning if you do wear makeup you want to make sure that you're using less products so maybe do two or three water-based serums. Maybe skip a face oil and go in with a moisturizer and an SPF 
or what you could do is skip your face oil and moisturizer and use your SPF after your water-based serums and that way you have room for your makeup and there's less layers underneath. This is just another idea to look into. Have a look at your skincare products and if there's certain things that can be used at nighttime, then save that product and use it at night. Another reason that could be happening is that you're not letting your skincare products absorb after every time you apply a new product. Now I'm somebody that likes to apply my products back to back, leaving my skin still damp because your products do absorb better when your skin is damp. But if you're using a lot of skincare products in your routine, maybe leave 30 seconds to a minute in between each product and let that product soak in before going in with the other product. Sometimes this can help to prevent pilling and if this is something that you can do that you have time to do, especially in the morning, then take 30 seconds to a minute in between each skincare product and apply it that way. If you have a lot of time on your hands, you can even wait a minute and a half to two minutes or longer it just depends on what works for you and how much time you have but by doing it this way this will definitely prevent pilling another reason why you could be experiencing pilling is if you are not exfoliating your skin on a weekly basis now this may seem like a no-brainer but if you are somebody that is using a skincare routine that generally works for you and then all of a sudden you experience pilling it could mean that these products can't absorb into your skin they're basically just sitting on top of your skin and all the products going on on top are not being able to be penetrated into your skin because there is a layer of dead skin sitting there so you do want to make sure that you keep your skin exfoliated and making sure that that surface dead skin is removed. By doing so, your skincare products are going to absorb a lot better, you're going to see better results in your skincare, and your makeup is going to also sit nicely on top as well. So make sure that you exfoliate your skin on a weekly basis. Another reason why you could be experiencing pilling is if you are using silicones in your skincare routine as well as your makeup routine. So for example, if you are using a moisturizer that has a silicone in it and you're pairing it with a face primer or a foundation that also has silicone in it, sometimes this could be causing pilling because silicones actually don't absorb into your skin. They generally sit on the top layer of your skin and this is usually where pilling can happen. Now, if you are also using products that have talc, mica, or even iron oxide, sometimes these can conflict with silicone as well, causing pilling. Now, this isn't all the time. You may be using products with these ingredients in it and you're completely fine, but depending on what type of skincare products you are using, and then you're using these other products on top with those ingredients in it, sometimes this could be causing pilling. And knowing your products and what type of ingredients are in them will definitely help you to prevent this from happening. And the last thing that could be causing your skincare products to pill is because of your SPF. Now this may not be the case for everybody, but finding an SPF can be really challenging, especially if you want it to work well with your skincare products as well as your makeup. And it really is trial and error when it comes to SPFs. Some SPFs may work for me or may not work for you, vice versa. Now I have a list of my top face sunscreens that I recently just uploaded if you haven't seen that video. Video, I will leave it below for you as well as up here and those are all the SPFs that work well with the products that I use as well as my makeup products but when you find an SPF that works well for you keep that SPF and stick with it because of course using an SPF is super important but it's going to be your golden product to keep because you just found an SPF that works for everything and that can be really challenging so depending on SPFs that you're using it could be chemical sunscreens mineral sunscreens sunscreens or a mixture of chemical and mineral, sometimes there's ingredients in these sunscreens that just react with skincare products and makeup products. And sometimes we don't know exactly what ingredients those are. I have found that using SPFs that have niacinamide in it can cause a lot of pilling, especially from what I've experienced. There is an SPF that I really do love, but I don't use it anymore because of this reason, and it's the Elta MD UV Clear, and this one is great for normal to combination skin, but there's niacinamide in there. So if you have acne prone skin and you don't wear makeup, then that is going to be an excellent SPF for you. It really is a lovely SPF, but I just can't go through that every day thinking, is the pilling gonna happen today or am I gonna luck out today? It's just 
too risky for me. So I don't use that SPF anymore, but I have found that niacinamide can cause pilling for me, especially in the morning. So I stay away from that SPF, but really take a look at some SPFs, take a look at the ingredients. If there's something that usually you know you react with, stay away from that SPF. And unfortunately, SPFs are trial and error, and sometimes I don't even know if they're gonna work for me. But I try them out, and I put them to the test, and that's why I do reviews for all of you. But if you haven't seen that video that I did upload on my top face sunscreens, make sure to check that video out as I do have a lot of options there that may work for you as well. So that is everything in today's video and I really hope that I answered a lot of your questions. Again, this is something that I get asked a lot on my channel and I really hope that I explained it to the best I could for you to understand why pilling could happen. Now, pilling may not happen all the time, but at least if it does happen, you have this video to go to and to reassure what you could be possibly doing wrong. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I will definitely see you guys in my next video video. So take care and we'll see you guys then. Bye guys.